So, you're Giant Henry. <laughs> Despite being totally entertaining, yeah, they can they'll they could guide you through your entire life. Yeah, prosperity lies in the in the quota. Yeah, it covers everything. Racism, war, human nature. So human basically, nature. they're poda. Poda. Poda is life. There you go. All right. Okay. Um. What do you guys think about drugs? What they're doing to people? Straight edge. We don't do them. <laughs> we don't take drugs. We, we drink lots of coffee, though. Yeah, we eat really. lots of bad things that make you feel funny. But marshmallow peanuts. Like that. Because oh. marshmallow peanuts, really, if you eat enough of them, they really have the probably the, the, the same, same effect of like smoking crack in a bowl or something. Yeah. <laughs> We, we don't drugs. take any illegal drugs. All of our drugs are safe and sane. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, are you guys going to tour soon? Are you going to do anything like that? Um, uh, you know? I don't know. Maybe. Perhaps Maybe we'll do summer like or spring or something. Summertime, probably. Do a little one. Right now we're just doing shows. We just get used to doing shows. So, so if it pops up. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Cool. Maybe we're, we'll go to Eastern Washington or something. We, it'd be cool to go on a tour to like towns that don't really have places to play, like mm -hmm. Shayless and Aberdeen and Forks. Shelton. Shelton. And at like, the end oh, of the tour, we'd like play in the Denny's or something. Yeah, yeah. That would be the ultimate. Yeah. To play in the Denny's. Like at 3 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> in your earlier days, didn't you guys play at Big Tom? I, well, yeah, actually, we had like a big jam at Big Yeah, Tom. we never, not Giant Henry, but like we played there. And it was the conceiving of Giant Henry, Henry, right? Yeah. They, they were throwing like tartar sauce at each other and stuff. Yeah, that was, that was pretty that was incredible. Like in the middle of the night, and Big Tom was right in the window. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. That would be cool to have a show with Big Tom. Yeah, I know. I always thought there's a laundromat right by there. I always thought people have shows and play it, play in the laundromat. Which was that? Yeah. Right across the street, like. Bob's Oh, I see. Oh, man. From Big Tom's. Pops. What, what kind of, what bands influence you? What, what bands do you like? Um, Kiss and Black Sabbath. Diva. Slater and Metallica. I heard the, I heard the, uh, 38 Special. I heard Kiss the Skillful Bathtub was a big influence on you. Uh, I like, yeah. Is that a rumor? Who? Skillful Bathtub. Okay, you guys not only have like good music, a lot like of talent. Oh. You we like, we like new wave. Are you looking? We're new wavers. <laughs> <laughs> Depeche mode. No. Oh. Not, we're more into like bow wow wow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, really new wave. Okay. Uh, Our favorite girl band is the Go Go's. Mm. Well, actually, my favorite is the. Oh, the that's mine. Uh, the Pandoras. Oh, Here's a question to Justin. Uh, what, what about Madonna? Do, do you have like any influence with Madonna? Uh, my, 
maybe a baseball bat or something. <laughs> no, I don't. Madonna? Yeah, all right. Yeah. She's Madonna. She's Madonna. She goes, she sings, she dances. She's just sexy. She kisses other girls. It's cool. Yeah. And boys, you know. Okay, what about, uh, what kind of things do you guys do to promote your band? You say, say. What do we do? Stickers. We call prank calls and little people. And do you? Giant Henry's gonna come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. We, what, do we, for, what do we promote? I don't know. Because with Super Tank, you had everything. You guys. Well, yeah, Super Tank really was much well, we more have of a t-shirts and stuff. Much more of a like hype promotion type thing. Pretty much. It's kind of a joke though, so you can do kind anything. of. But we're, we're this all is more in, kind of a band, so we, we don't really haven't really. It feel weird to do something like that, like totally go out and totally promote. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right now we're just playing shows and you know stickers. No, yeah, yeah, you hear about those bands that they go out and they haven't even played before, and they're like a solo <coughs> band, and then they like promote themselves like big, and then they go and play, and everybody gets really disappointed. Yeah. So you know, might as well just keep playing. Well, you guys aren't disappointing at all. Okay. Um. Thank you. We like Super Bowls. Yeah. Yeah. Five hours of entertainment in this wonderful school. They are. They're really fun. What well, uh, What about, are you guys, is this, are you guys really trying to, uh, is this really serious for you guys? Or are you guys trying to really make anything out of this? Or is it just kind of a, just kind of, kind of something, go as it goes. Just something to do right now? Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens. Just for fun, basically. Yeah, we don't have any, like, goals or anything. Do it. Play shows. Punk out. Get yourself. Get the babe. Actually, what our our main thing is getting girls. <laughs> groupies. We're trying. We're trying to get as many groupies and girls and stuff as and possible. So far, we've been unsuccessful. Didn't Brant have like an incident with a girl at one time? That rather. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't know. Cheesy. <laughs> You guys have Chris in your band, you guys can get girls? Oh, yeah. Chris Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, he has. Because he has a magazine. Yeah. Oh, true. Right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that Walking helps. Girls. Isn't there a story behind what happened at a party one time with uh, Chris Jordan? Or like a oh, jam? One of our improv bands? Yeah. Chris Jordan barfed. Yeah, we played. He sang too hard, so he didn't eat anything like the day, like that day. So he was like screaming really hard, and he just puked. And it was like the punkest thing in the world. <laughs> 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 we, have we ever told you about our superhero guy that we're gonna make? No. Barf man. Really? Mm -hmm. And he he has like this really acidic barf. And <laughs> they, the government hires him to destroy his secret documents and stuff. <laughs> But he's like really good looking, you know, like James Bond or something. Yeah. But he goes and like, gets a secret document and he burns it. He burns it and he like crusts all over it. He makes like, the like chain link fences, you know, like spies up to carry like wire clippers. He just like, gah. Yaks. <laughs> he just barfs all over Yeah. And he just melts. Yeah. So, uh, you guys like glazed donuts, don't you? Donuts. donuts. What, what can you, you say? <laughs> donuts. donuts. I love donuts. That's my major gripe. Our major gripe is Olympia. Yeah, there's no, there's no donuts. No donuts. You got coffee all over the place, but where are the donuts? Where's the donut shops? That's true. We need yeah, a Dunkin' no Donuts one. right downtown. That's what we need. Or Winchell's. No, Dunkin' Donuts. Winchell's. Okay. Winchell's is they're they're way too expensive. Oh, that's true. Kind of Dunkin'. Like Dunkin's where it's at. I had these great donuts from Tacoma. I haven't been to the place, but it's called Lee Donut. Mm. Craziest donuts ever. What about what about Mega Foods donuts? Safeway deal. Donuts. At Mega Foods on the west side used to have a rad deal on donuts. They had these five cent cake donuts, uh -huh. and you just got get fifty piled in a bag and just tell them you got like fifteen or something. Like that. Yeah, it's plus totally like Safeway the got that bargain bake, like pastry cart with all these old like pastries. Yeah, they do. It's like these old like lemon pies and stuff like that. You know, yeah. For ninety nine cents, <laughs> donut holes and stuff like that. I went to Safeway the other day and they were charging quarter for each donut hole. That's a 
quick walk. I tell you. That's What's this world coming to when you can only get four donut holes for a dollar? Man. That's fucked. That is really. That is just screwed. Yeah. What about, tell me about your trailer. My trailer? Yeah. Does it influence your life a uh, lot? Yeah. Tell us about what it does to you or what it does do. It, uh, what it makes you. Makes me into a cheesy <laughs> white trash person living in tub water. <laughs> You have to admit you're the, the ideal Tumwater citizen, though. You're yeah, trailer. I am. Yeah. Trailers are just... Uh, doesn't really have ever any beer in his refrigerator. I do have a beer in my refrigerator. Oh, yeah. I have one beer in my refrigerator. <laughs> Is it's it a not? bush beer. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite brand of coffee? Brand? Yeah. Uh, well, or I like buying, like, beans. Just beans? And yeah, like, from Starbucks. Millstones. Maybe they're fine. My parents have this stuff. Stuart Brothers coffee is pretty good. Mm. Yeah, beans are the way to go. Beans, grind, get your own grinder. Mm -hmm. Buy your own beans. And grind it before you make it. Grind it right before you make it because when you grind it, like you lose a lot of like your flavor and, and power. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then make your water run. Before, because you want to get all the lead out of your, your water before you make your coffee. Don't you guys uh, follow something all or something? All logistics? All? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Pursuit of all? Yeah. yeah. Pursuit of all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Freedom of espresso. The pursuit of all. All is another way of life. <laughs> Don't you guys have a, a like, didn't you guys start your own club here at the school? Yeah, we did. The Rock and Roll Club. The Rock and Roll All Over Club. Or secretly named the Dishonor Society. Yeah. We didn't want to offend anybody. Yeah, who's your guys' advisor for that? Uh, Mr. Zahn. And he is our favorite teacher. I don't know what, what do you guys think of him? I mean, what do we think of him? I think he's a great guy. We think he's an all around, he's great. All around? And you know, he's a law abiding system citizen because once I follow him in his car and he didn't go a mile over or under the speed limit the whole time and like, we even changed speed limits like went to 25 to 30 back to 25 to 35 and it's like exact every time he must have that cruise control foot yeah he, he does and that wonderful he is that, have you ever seen the car he drives it's awesome big green station wagon yeah it's a beaut it's like that, this kind of color green that you probably really don't see very much. It's a really weird color of green. Uh, well, since Vern is in here, um, could you guys like uh, tell us a little about, uh, about his car? Vern's car? Yeah. It started it's out fun. as a Toyota Corona. Corona and it was yeah. just like wood, wood and wood woody wood and yellow. And then I don't know, something happened. Like, now, when did that, when did it just... Oh, what started that I show? Know. <laughs> <laughs> it like got hit, like rear-ended or something. I think. <coughs> oh yeah, like that was that two summers ago. He got rear-ended, and then that like started. You know, once once one bad thing happens to yeah. your car, and, and like, like especially around us, because we really like get into like destroying cars. Mm -hmm. Like we used to have this pinup that was just the most incredible car. Chris's? Yeah, Chris's. Chris's. We just. Oh, gotcha. I mean, we just. Painted all over it and be inside it and be like four by four in it. I mean, you know, pinos are the best four Forks by four. Forks the dashboard. Dude, you just take those things out. You get total slip tires that don't have any traction and just go down by Trails End or something and just on a nice muddy day and just fling around in a pinot. That's probably one of the best things. What do you think about the war? War. War's land. Anyway, look at it. So, uh, what do you guys uh, think about our uh, neat Tumwater people? What do you guys think that they How think does of you? Yeah. Your band? Does it at they all? Well, do they, do they make you go to a day of high school and you just kind of walk around looking at people, kind of just sitting there thinking, hmm, well, I probably wouldn't really, really like to be here right now. But you have to, so you go for. Six periods or whatever. Well, it's kind of ironic because, like, you, well, it's like you have to be here at school. And normally, these people you wouldn't normally hate because 
if you're a normal, like just walking in the street and some asshole is talking, you can just walk away from him. But since you're in like high school, you're in like these close quarters and you're like forced to be with assholes all day. So then, you know, there's like nothing you can do about it. All you can do is just sit there and like hate him. <laughs> you can skip. Do you ever write songs skip. about it? I don't, think, I don't know. I don't know. It's more like you go to school. Oh, yeah. You go to school all day, and you walk around, and you just kind of sit there and and uh, kind of get a lot of fed looks, and then you and then you uh, you go home or you something, you know, drink some coffee. It's better. Like a couple cups, and then you know, and then and then you practice, and then we practice or something, and you just scream <laughs> and you smash things. And, and it's good. It's good. What about skateboarding? I love skateboarding. I'm more like a street surfer, though. I like surfing. Do you ever get like people that act like just like seventies? I like the seventies. <laughs> Do you ever get people that like hate you guys just because of the way you guys look or whatever? I mean, you guys get harassed like downtown or anything like that? Uh, it's not that big of a deal anymore. I mean, I mean, it happens. You always get, you always gonna get yelled at once or once or something. Yeah, no matter who you are, you know. Yeah. I mean, no matter what you look like, I guess. Just because those guys are just little wimps and, and, and lower trucks, and they because they're in their car and they're going, they're going 25, and they're with three other friends, and they can yell whatever the hell they want, pretty much, justified or not. You guys ever like get like discriminated against just because? The way you, I mean, do you guys ever get discriminated by like restaurants and stuff? Like when you guys like walk in there or whatever, do you like people? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you go to Denny's and they don't give a fuck. I mean, the only people that people are there like three o'clock, just fucking weirdos and stuff. <laughs> and you know, and it's either like depends what time of day you go there, but like like eleven or something, there's like assholes there that pick on you or something. But I don't know. You know, I don't know, like, restaurants I go to don't even... Yeah. King Solomon's used to outlaw the rockers. Yeah. yeah. Like, back like when there was, like, mass people from the locks and stuff, but not that we look like they were weird. Yeah, I just there asked... There too many more than Mohawk punks in there. I just asked that because I remember one time we went out and, like... I remember we went to that one Chinese restaurant and that one waitress was like really giving us a hard time and told us, yeah, that we had to pay for the spot or whatever. So. Remember that? Remember that one night we just left? Oh, Like we were sitting there and the lady started giving us a bad time. So I was just wondering if that happened like anymore or what. Yeah. I don't know. Not really. It happens, but sometimes it's kind of fun. Just, I mean, if, you're, if your presence, like, if your just presence alone annoys somebody, it's probably worth it. Yeah. You know, they probably need to be in If someone's being threatened by just how you look, no matter like what, you know, like racially or if you're just a girl or a guy or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Whatever. What do you guys do when you get up on stage? Just get crazy? Well, do anything that feels good? Yeah. Yeah, we just play and see what happens. <laughs> I like to play. Yeah. Thank you. I'm pretty limited. Yeah. Was the best show you ever had? What, the last time? Yeah, that was. That was the best time we played, as far as being tight and stuff. So. It was also really energetic and stuff. Well, we've gotten like way better at playing like in front of people than ever before. Because it's been really gradual, because we could always play like good practices and stuff, but then getting in front of people is a different thing, you know, playing shows. But finally we figured out the feel of how to be that, so. There we go. Alright. So it's time for class, and... Rock and roll is the right. way of life. No, rock and roll sucks. We're here to end rock and roll. <laughs> We're here to destroy stars. rock and roll. Kill rock stars. <laughs> <laughs>